Do you feel more awake and alive when exploring life's deeper, darker truths? Could this be your superpower guiding you? In the obscured realms where light falters, your true power emerges, not from the radiance you cast, but from your unparalleled ability to navigate the shadows. Here, in the dark, you discern truths that the daylight obscures, mastering not just the art of sight, but of insight. There lies a territory as crucial to traverse as any hero's descent into the underworld. Just as Orpheus ventured into the depths of Hades to retrieve his beloved Eurydice, you too go on a journey into the shadowy recesses of your own soul, a place where your fears, regrets, and unresolved conflicts reside. This descent is not for the faint-hearted, for it involves confronting the aspects of yourself that you have hidden away, those parts deemed too painful, too dark, or too vulnerable to face in the light of day. Orpheus, armed only with his lyre and his love, faced the darkest kingdom. And so must you approach your inner shadows with your own tools, courage, honesty, and a relentless will to reclaim every part of your being. Similarly, the biblical Jonah's ordeal inside the belly of the whale mirrors the suffocating claustrophobia of facing one's deepest shadows. Jonah's flight from his destiny led him into the depths of the sea, swallowed by a giant fish in a divine act of intervention. There in the pitch dark belly of the beast, Jonah confronted not only the physical darkness, but the darkness within himself, his fears, his flight from responsibility, and his stubbornness. Your own shadow work demands a comparable confrontation. You are called to dive deep into the waters of your unconscious, to be swallowed by the enormity of your hidden self, and to emerge enlightened and transformed. This journey is essential. For just as Jonah could not escape his fate until he faced it, you too cannot move towards true enlightenment without facing the entirety of who you are. The process is transformative, reshaping you from the inside out, challenging and rebuilding your identity by forcing you to reconcile with every part of your soul. The biblical metaphor of wrestling with angels or demons resonates deeply embodying the transformative struggles inherent in confronting your inner shadows. Just as Jacob wrestled through the night with a divine entity at the river Jabbok, so too are you engaged in a relentless, grueling battle with the most elusive aspects of your character. This struggle is not just about overcoming, it is about integrating and understanding the depth of your own nature. Jacob's encounter left him limping, forever changed by his experience, marked not only by a physical scar, but also by a new name, Israel, symbolizing one who has contended with divine and human adversaries and has prevailed. Similarly, your skirmishes with the shadowy angels and demons within are not without cost. They require a sacrifice of former perceptions, the comfort of unchecked habits, and the naivety of an unexamined life. Yet, this struggle is fundamentally transformative, gifting you with profound insights and a more integrated self. As you emerge from these encounters, you do so with a deeper understanding of your strengths, fears, desires, and the resilience of your spirit, equipped to move forward with greater authenticity and purpose. There lurk shadows, hidden realms of irrational anger, sudden sadness, and overwhelming fear, much like the mythical Medusa, whose gaze could petrify any who dared confront her. These emotional upheavals are not mere disturbances, but vital clues, signaling deeper unresolved conflicts and fears within you. Medusa, in this context, symbolizes the terrifying aspects of your subconscious that you turn away from, aspects that are too intimidating to face head-on. Identifying these triggers, sudden flares of anger at minor inconveniences, inexplicable sadness in moments of solitude, or disproportionate fear in response to change, requires a steadfast courage to look deeper into yourself, to understand the roots of these emotional responses. To engage with these shadow aspects is to start a journey of self-conquest, where you must not only face, but also learn to tame your inner Medusa. This process begins with recognizing the situations or thoughts that invoke these intense emotions. Is it a specific phrase, a type of interaction, or even a particular time of day that brings these shadows to the surface. Observing yourself without judgment and noting these triggers is the first step toward reclaiming the power they wield over you. 
like Perseus using his shield to view Medusa indirectly. You too can use tools such as journaling, therapy, or mindfulness to reflect upon and gradually integrate these fearsome parts of your psyche into your broader self-understanding. This is not about defeating or destroying these aspects, but about acknowledging their existence and transforming your relationship with them, thus disarming the terror they instill and integrating their strength into your conscious life. Eruptions of intense feelings such as sudden anger, inexplicable sadness, or engulfing fear are not merely disturbances. They are signposts pointing toward hidden chambers of unresolved issues and repressed experiences. These responses, often disproportionate to their triggers, act as clues, a mysterious language of the subconscious begging to be deciphered. Each surge of emotion is a key, unlocking doors to the most secluded parts of your psyche where past traumas, unmet needs, and silenced voices reside. Understanding these signals requires you to delve into the origins of your emotional responses. Why does a certain remark ignite a fiery anger? What memories surface when you encounter a particular scent or sound that leads to sudden melancholy? These are not random. They are echoes of past experiences, often hidden beneath layers of daily consciousness. By attentively listening to these emotional outbursts, you can trace them back to their roots. Unveiling patterns that may stem from early childhood experiences or pivotal life events. This journey of tracing your emotional reactions is akin to mapping an uncharted territory, where each discovery offers a chance for healing and integration. By bravely confronting these emotions and understanding their source, you not only disarm their power over you, but also reclaim a part of yourself that was lost or buried. The confrontation with your own shadow is not for the faint of heart. It demands courage as formidable as any faced by heroes of old, a courage to confront not just external giants, but the daunting specters of your own psyche. This path, much like the biblical story of Job, requires resilience and faith that transcends ordinary endurance. For you are asked to face the painful truths within and survive the trials they bring. Job, a man of immense faith, faced an onslaught of suffering that stripped away everything he held dear, his family, his wealth, and his health. Yet his story is not just one of suffering, but of profound endurance and faith in the face of inexplicable loss and pain. Job's ordeal compels him to question his understanding of justice and righteousness pushing him to confront the deepest and most painful truths about his existence and faith. Similarly, your journey to confront your shadows forces you to face aspects of yourself that you may have ignored or suppressed. Fears, failures, and frailties that are as much a part of you as your strengths and joys. The courage required for this confrontation is immense. It involves not only recognizing your flaws and limitations, but also understanding how they have shaped your reactions and relationships. This process can be unsettling, as it often disrupts your self-image and challenges your long-held beliefs about who you are. But just as Job's faith was tested and ultimately strengthened by his trials, so too can your journey through the shadows fortify your understanding of yourself. Resilience in this context is not merely about enduring pain, but about processing and integrating it into your life. It involves psychological and spiritual alchemy, where the base elements of your character are transformed into something greater and more profound. This transformative process is crucial because it allows you to emerge from the confrontation, not just intact, but enriched with a deeper appreciation for the complexities of your personality and a renewed sense of purpose. Just as Job emerged from his trials with a new depth of faith and understanding, your successful navigation through the shadows equips you with greater emotional and psychological resilience. It enhances your capacity to empathize with others and strengthens your ability to face future challenges. In confronting your shadows, you not only learn about your hidden fears and desires, but also discover your potential for growth and renewal. The art of reclamation and release requires you to handle the delicate balance between reclaiming the lost parts of yourself and releasing those toxic traits and memories that have long hindered your growth. Reclamation is akin to gathering scattered pieces of a once shattered mirror. 
each fragment reflecting a quality or dream you've suppressed or forgotten. Perhaps in childhood, you brimmed with creativity, painting worlds with your imagination. Yet somewhere along the path, that vibrant creativity was muted, deemed impractical by the stern rules of adulthood. Or maybe there was a part of you that thrived on spontaneity and adventure, now buried under layers of fear and caution accrued over years of conditioning. Reclaiming these parts isn't merely about remembering or reviving them. It's about reintegrating them into your current identity, allowing them to breathe life into your everyday existence and illuminate new facets of your being. Simultaneously, the art of release demands that you confront and let go of those elements within you that poison your spirit. These might be the shadows of grudges held too tightly, the residues of failures, or the echoes of toxic relationships that still whisper doubts and insecurities into your ear. Release is not a simple act of forgetting. It's an active process of forgiveness and letting go. It involves acknowledging the pain or bitterness, understanding its origins, and then consciously deciding to let it no longer define you. This dual process is symbolically akin to the mythical phoenix, which must burn in the fire of its old self to rise anew from the ashes. In a similar vein, parts of you must die, old habits, harmful beliefs, outdated self-images, to make space for rebirth and renewal. This death is not a physical one, but an emotional and spiritual transformation that allows for the emergence of a new self, forged from the insights and strengths gained through both reclamation and release. Consider, for instance, the person who has always defined themselves through their career success, but finds no joy in their achievements. Reclaiming might involve rediscovering passions they set aside for their career, art, literature, perhaps activism. Releasing, on the other hand, might require letting go of the relentless self-criticism born from years of equating self-worth with professional accolades. The rebirth occurs when this person integrates their reclaimed passions with their career, perhaps shifting their professional goals to align more closely with their true interests, thus renewing their sense of purpose and joy. Each cycle of death and rebirth you endure is not merely a sequence of events, but a transformative dance that brings you closer to the essence of who you truly are. This metamorphosis, where you shed the old and accept the new, is as necessary as it is beautiful, marking not the end, but the rebirth of your authentic self. Think of yourself as a sculpture hidden within a block of marble. Each cycle of death, the letting go of old beliefs, past pains, and obsolete identities, is like the careful strike of the sculptor's chisel, freeing you from what you are not, revealing more of who you truly are beneath. The process is painstaking and fraught with inner turmoil, for letting go is often accompanied by fear and uncertainty. Yet it is this very struggle, this willingness to confront and cast off the unnecessary that unveils the finer features of your true form. Consider the phoenix, a creature of myth that symbolizes renewal and eternal return. It embraces its cyclical death in flames, only to rise again from its ashes, reborn and rejuvenated. Like the phoenix, each rebirth you experience allows you to emerge with renewed strength, clarity, and a deeper connection to your core. The flames that might seem to consume you are actually the fires of transformation, purifying and preparing you for your next stage of growth. This journey of rebirth is not a path you walk alone. History and mythology alike are replete with figures who have traversed this harrowing path and emerged victorious. Take, for instance, the story of Odysseus, whose return to Ithaca was not just a physical journey, but a profound personal odyssey of discovery, loss, and recovery. Each trial he faced stripped away layers of his former self, teaching him lessons in humility, resilience, and wisdom crafting him into a wiser king and a more understanding man. In your life, these cycles of rebirth manifest through experiences that challenge your understanding of yourself and the world. It could be the loss of a job that leads you to discover an unexpected passion, or the end of a relationship that teaches you about self-worth and love. Each ending, painful as it may be, holds the promise of a new beginning, a chance to realign more closely with your true desires and to live more authentically. 
Celebrate these moments of death and rebirth for what they are. Vital steps on your journey to self-actualization. They are your rites of passage, marking significant transitions in your life that each deserve recognition and reflection. Share your stories, not as tales of loss and sorrow, but as epics of overcoming and becoming. Let them be your testimony to the transformational power of rebirth, inspiring others to welcome their cycles of renewal with hope and resilience. In the relentless pursuit of self-discovery, integrating your shadow, the uncharted and often overlooked aspects of your being, into daily life is essential for profound personal growth. This process, while complex, can be navigated through practical, everyday practices that allow you to gradually welcome and transform the hidden facets of your personality. The journey of shadow integration is not a fleeting excursion, but a continuous voyage into the depths of your psyche, requiring diligence, courage, and honesty. Firstly, engaging in regular reflective questioning is a powerful tool to uncover your shadow aspects. Start by asking yourself questions that probe deeper into your reactions and feelings. Why did a particular comment make you feel angry? What about a specific situation triggered fear or discomfort? These questions aren't meant to judge, but to explore and understand. The answers provide clues to the hidden parts of your psyche that govern your reactions and behaviors. By regularly examining your emotional triggers, you can begin to uncover patterns that signal underlying shadow aspects. Secondly, the use of affirmations can facilitate a more compassionate approach to these newly uncovered shadows. For instance, if you discover a tendency towards jealousy, an affirmation like, I am learning to rejoice in others' successes as I work towards my own, can help reframe your perspective and gradually integrate this shadow into your conscious behavior. Affirmations act as gentle reminders to your subconscious, helping to rewire old narratives and foster acceptance and transformation of shadow traits. Furthermore, mindfulness and meditation are invaluable in your shadow work toolkit. These practices ground you in the present and enhance your awareness of thoughts and feelings without immediate reaction or judgment. Through mindfulness, you learn to observe your mental landscape, recognizing shadows as they appear without suppression or denial. This ongoing awareness is crucial. It prevents shadows from exerting control over your actions unconsciously and allows you to address them with intention and clarity. Journaling also serves as a profound tool for shadow integration. It provides a safe, private space to confront and communicate with your shadows. Writing about your fears, insecurities, and desires without censorship helps in acknowledging these hidden parts of yourself. This practice not only brings shadows into the light, but also helps in tracking your progress over time, offering insights into how your shadows have shifted with your conscious efforts. Lastly, engaging with art and creativity can unlock emotions and aspects of yourself that are often buried deep. Whether it's painting, writing, music, or dance, creative expression provides a non-verbal outlet for your shadows to surface and be explored. This can lead to surprising revelations about yourself and foster healing and integration through the transformative power of creativity. Integrating shadow work into your daily life is not a quick fix, but a commitment to continual growth and self-awareness. Each of these practices offers a unique pathway to not only confront, but also to understand and harmonize the disparate parts of your being. As you walk this path, remember that each step, each reflection, each moment of mindfulness contributes to a fuller, more authentic expression of who you are. The journey of shadow integration is akin to the mystical process of turning base metals into gold. This transformation, both profound and essential, is not merely about refining something ordinary into something precious. It is about discovering and embracing the full spectrum of your being, transforming the ignored and neglected parts of yourself into sources of strength and enlightenment. Just as alchemists of old believed in the potential of base materials to ascend to nobler forms, you too hold the potential to elevate your most hidden aspects to illuminate your path. The shadows you carry, the fears, insecurities, and suppressed desires are not flaws, 
but unpolished gems waiting to be understood and integrated. By engaging in the deep and often challenging work of shadow integration, you do not erase these parts but transform them, integrating them into the wholeness of your being, much like the alchemist transforms lead into gold. As you face this transformative journey, consider the biblical story of Jacob wrestling with the angel. This night-long struggle, fraught with physical pain and existential dread, was not just a fight for survival, but a profound confrontation with the divine and with himself. As dawn broke, Jacob emerged not just victorious but transformed, bearing a new name, Israel, meaning one who has struggled with God and humans and has overcome. Like Jacob, your engagement with your shadow is a form of wrestling, not just with the darker parts of yourself, but with the very essence of what it means to be fully human. This process of struggle and transformation is ongoing. It does not end with one victory, but continues throughout your life. Each encounter with your shadow, each moment of acknowledgement and integration, is a step towards greater self-awareness and authenticity. You are called not to a battle to be won, but to a journey to be walked, one that requires resilience, courage, and the willingness to see the gold in the shadow. Thus, as you continue to explore the complexities of your inner world, remember that the truest strength lies not in never having shadows, but in bravely confronting them, integrating them, and emerging not unscathed, but unshackled. Let this journey of self-discovery and transformation inspire not only you, but also those around you. Share your stories of struggle and triumph of how you wrestled with your darkest moments and how you were transformed by them. In these stories, you offer hope and light, not only to yourself, but to others on their path of growth. Face your journey with the heart of an explorer and the soul of a warrior. Celebrate each step in this alchemical transformation as you turn the lead of your shadows into the gold of your enlightenment. Your life is your crucible and your spirit is the flame. Forge ahead with purpose and passion.